Our standards in science teaching are changing. They're moving from more of a direct approach where we're just teaching facts to allowing students to think and talk and do science. A common thread in this new generation of standards is having students learn science through evidence-based argumentation. When it comes to literacy, reading and writing tend to dominate our focus in many schools. And part of the reason why is because reading and writing are easier to assess than speaking and listening. However, I'll make a case that speaking and listening are just as important as reading and writing. Being a part of a new generation of standards is going to create a situation that we've clearly seen where teachers are going to be scrambling to get their hands on resources to teach science in this very new way. And so teachers need valid and reliable assessments of this new way of learning science and that's specifically what we're trying to do in this project. The dialogue tool first came to me by chance. The district had an opportunity and they needed a science teacher to help them out and they contacted me and I said sure. I'll try it out. It sounds like something that, that could get kids interested in science. Dialogue stands for diagnosing the argumentation levels of groups. So we are looking at how students engage in evidence-based argumentation and we are looking at how they do so through the oral modality, so speaking and listening. And this is assessment that happens as the argument happens. So this is something that is aimed at classroom practice that the teacher can use in the moment to assess the quality of oral argumentation as it happens. Argumentation is really important in science because when scientists do science, they pose a question, they gather data, and they come to some conclusions. And argumentation is the method that we can use to get there. We have to explain our point of view, we use our evidence and our reasoning, then we come together and co-construct and come to, yeah, you are a little bit right, I was a little bit right, but together this is the better right. And as students do that, then science is personal to them and not just an abstract set of facts. We've identified what we believe are eight important components of oral argumentation. You have the intrapersonal aspects of the dialogue system, which are four constructs, claims, evidence, reasoning, and then the relevance thereof. And then you have what's happening between brains, the interpersonal, and that's listening, and that's critiquing, and that's co-constructing, and it's doing so with a sense of group regulation where you can kind of see the forest from the trees and how the conversation is going. Two. What I found with this tool is it makes everything easier. As I walk through a lab, I can quickly know if students are making claims or not, and I can address that real quickly. Within the tool itself, it has many response lessons, so I can give them a part of the lesson, I can score them, see where I judge it at, and then we can have little lesson to help them better be ready the next time we do it. We have around a hundred teachers participating in this study across the country. One of the ways in which we are assessing the potential success of this study is we are providing teachers video of classroom practice and then we provide them a digital interface to actually make annotations of that video. We are also interested in if using the dialogue system on a somewhat regular basis inculcates new lenses through which they look at their classroom practice. So more specifically, if there's eight things that the dialogue system tells you to look for on a regular basis, then perhaps over time you're going to start to see those things in ways that you might not have been able to see them had you not had practice looking for them. And so this is a concept that we call professional vision. We'll type when we're done. Dialogue is so good for me in my practice in my classroom. It focuses me in on what I need to look for and it allows me a way to quickly gauge how the class is going because I'm recognizing and knowing what I need to look for. The intent with this project is to make an impact and, and to provide resources to more and more teachers because the hope is, is that if more and more teachers 
get their hands on these resources, then more and more of their students are going to have opportunities to practice speaking and listening skills that I think are incredibly important skills in the 21st century.